Welcome back everyone. Hello. Some exciting news. Uh, we will be having reviews posted very soon. In fact, I think one will be posted today or tomorrow. There will be many more to come. The new straps for the sports watch came in. I'll throw up a couple shots right now of how those look. They pair really well, fit really well, and we are really excited about them. So for today's video, we want to go over, um, I was speaking with someone uh, just yesterday on how the, the whole world, uh, well, the world climate today is affecting the watch industry, uh, specifically the Swiss watch industry and manufacturing, things like that. In fact, it was Peter, if you're watching, uh, it was great talking to you. And we wanted to go into uh, my dad, his background. He has extensive, uh, an extensive background in manufacturing. So we wanted to share just what he's seen and uh, a little bit of what is happening and uh, how that might affect things going forward. All right. Uh, just to give you a little overview of uh, the watch industry, which is part of the jewelry industry. And uh, in case of discretionary spending, the first thing that always goes is jewelry. So since watches is part of jewelry, it, uh, it was greatly felt uh, within, uh, within the industry. Uh, Switzerland, the Swiss watch industry had specifically Swatch Group and uh, most of the brands, uh, they had about an inventory backlog of 18 to 24 months. And with uh, this economical downturn that we're experiencing right now that is, has been forced on us, that inventory probably went up or is going up to about 30 to 36 months, which is it's unheard of in the industry. So uh, it has a big effect on the front end manufacturing sector. Uh, most of the orders with manufacturers, case, dial, hands, bracelets have been either frozen or canceled. Uh, what I see with manufacturers on, in the high-end sector, they, uh, they're looking at working around two to three days a week on the production capacity that's about 30 to 40 percent. So it's very low uh, what we have right now in the, in, in the watch industry. And that is only in regards to the, the normal conventional uh, sales flow, logistical flow that is in existence. Uh, <clears throat> which is kind of exciting for us micro brands uh, because we're going the direct route with, with customers. Uh, we do not feel that same uh, uh, effect that the, that the industry feels on the, on the normal uh, jewelry outlet store, uh, direct sale, uh, sector. I mean, it, 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 it looks like a lot of the jewelry stores worldwide are either going to come up with internet sales where they, where they uh, have cameras installed in their stores and they're just following customers around the store like that without the customer having to be in the store. Uh, that's several companies, uh, jewelry stores have started doing that or are already doing it or we're setting up for it to be done. But the uh, micro brands, exciting news. Uh, we haven't seen that downturn like, uh, like uh, in the normal sector. That is when the, the prices of the watches are stable and uh, on the more aggressive side, let's put it that way. Yeah, it's a, uh... It's kind of a running joke within the microband community, cutting out the middleman, disrupting the industry. Uh, but I mean, in this case, it, it's true. Uh, most microbrands don't have a middleman and therefore don't have to worry about that extra margins that the bigger brands have. That is something that uh, is a pretty tough thing to afford if you're in a price range in the thousands. That's a uh, the big chunk of the cost to be in a jewelry store. Most people don't realize that the margins, they're not small if you're in a brick and mortar store. And for that reason, you rarely, if ever, 
see micro brands in brick and mortar jewelry stores because the margins are something if you could afford to have them it puts you in a price range that has you competing against big brands that uh, it, it you'll just have a really hard time making the sales you need to uh, one thing that is affecting us my dad mentioned it the the manufacturing capacity <clears throat> excuse me uh, that uh, slowing things down so everything is up and running they're moving but with the capacity that tends to that will affect micro brands as well as the big brands correct correct yeah so <clears throat> dealing with manufacturers they still give you the exact same lead time as as uh, before uh, virus and uh, it's it, it's somewhat funny there's there's an un written law that there's a technical delay that is you know that you can deal with that's about 25 percent to extend your lead time that way and and they're using uh, they're taking advantage of that on the on a on an order basis uh, as they want it's 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 somewhat very frustrating uh, because we ask them in detail how long does this take here are you confident you can do it in that time yes 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 and uh, finally, it yeah, it doesn't come to fruition. So uh, patience is is rather uh, re required at this time because of uh, the hardships that the manufacturers have. Uh, uh, we know of several on, on 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 the medium to high end that are just. It's too expensive for it to even stay open. They just they just close the doors because uh, uh, if they have a load capacity that's only taking care of fifteen to twenty percent uh, with the overhead that they have, it just it comes to the point where they just can't finance it anymore. So we are very lucky in in, in our segment that we see uh, you know we, we we see things moving, but. Uh, in any case, it's it's tough times. It's it's not easy. So uh, uh, hang in there. I hope come September, October, things are gonna hopefully pick up uh, the way they should and the way we want them to pick up. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see um, with with the climate changing literally month to month or even week to week. It'll be interesting to see uh, how the watch industry will be shaped. Uh, a year or more down the road. I personally think micro brands, uh, because they're already established and able, able will fill uh, a large gap that is open right now, and uh, which is a silver lining. It's really exciting. Um, it's just, I, I hope that a lot of micro brands will be able to survive. We're very fortunate in our situation uh, to where we're, we're not worried about it, but I do, we do hope that as many can survive this will, and I think those that do will be, will benefit greatly from it. Uh, another silver lining, uh, one last thing before we end, is uh, movements seem to be more available now. Movements seem to be, uh, there seems to be, because of all the cancellations, uh, available capacity. Uh, it's, it's still, you know, if, 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 if you require a small quantity only, it still makes sense to consolidate those orders together uh, in order to save cost in that sense. But uh, if, if you can't, then, uh, you know, place your orders. Uh, you know, the lead time last year around this time was about eight to 10 months. It has shortened now to about five months. Uh, that's mainly also because of summer vacation. Switzerland still thinks even though they were working short now for the last three months, uh, next week the summer vacation starts and they'll close for three weeks. So <laughs> it's traditions are important and that free time and that uh, relaxed time uh, needs to be uh, needs to be taken care of. Yeah, you gotta have your vacation. So <clears throat> one one more thing maybe if 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 you look at the conventional watch manufacturers, they deal with an upcharge in manufacturing cost of. 10 to 1, some even go 20 to 1. Uh, the lucky ones, uh, Rolex, they don't have an inventory problem. Uh, uh, and there's a couple other brands that don't. 
So if they're on their 10 to 1 or 15 to 1 manufacturing cost, uh, they're, they're just fine and, and moving forward. Others that, that tend to be on the higher side, uh, if you're over six or seven times manufacturing cost, then it, 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 becomes, it becomes challenging also. So any, any way that uh, we can see to uh, make, make the product uh, enticing to, uh, to everybody, uh, that's part of what to look at as well. Yeah, so a lot of stuff changing. I mean, if you go back in our videos, you'll see not that long ago, we made a video stating essentially the opposite in regards to <laughs> movement availability. And uh, so it's crazy how much has actually changed uh, with this short amount of time. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video, enjoyed the info. If uh, you guys want to hear anything else that we left out that maybe you're curious about, let me know in the comments. And uh, watch out for those reviews of the Sports Watch. Thanks a bunch. Have a good weekend.